All right, guys, here's a quick little video I wanted to show you on this conversion of a uh, pixel tree that used to be um, a incandescent uh, set of lights. And I hooked up, uh, there's uh, zip tied to, there's two rings going here. And zip tied to these two rings is uh, 11 five volt RGB nodes that I've been testing. Um, and then in the side the star, there's actually five RGB nodes. So that's, I, I think that's a total of uh, 27 RGB. So one, uh, three, uh, two strings of 50 or a hundred of these will make three whole uh, trees. I have 20 of these that I'm gonna make for this year. I don't know if I'll utilize all of them, but I thought that this would be a nice little test considering we have these kits here and I uh, can cycle through and you can see they have a pretty cool chase function. Um, I think that one's really neat and then I'll, you can see a little better here with the red. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, 27 pixels is all that is. That would reverse it. And, uh, this, uh, 27 pixels is what it is. It's 5 volt. And uh, I've been testing them. They burned in for, I want to say, a good uh, week or so. And I've got some in the freezer that I am currently freezing to test for uh, water intrusion. And, uh, but I was going to throw this outside and just run it and see how it went. But uh, so far, I like it. I like how this controller is running it um, in the individual color mode. Uh, I can see a lot of neat things working with this through Nutcracker and stuff, um, making it into a, uh, an 11 pixel tall matrix by uh, 40 um, strings going up and down. So there's a lot of cool things that I think this, these trees can do. I think that's really pretty too. Um, so, yeah, I just want to give you a heads up, show you what's going on here at Leechburg Lights, and uh, I'm sure I'll have some other new little project coming up, too. So, uh, stay tuned. See you guys. Bye.